All right, hi guys. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together a report, a nice looking report in LaTeX. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is open up your writer that you use to write LaTeX with. And I'm just gonna increase the font size here so that you guys can follow along. Next, you're gonna want a folder to keep the files for your project in. So I just put it right here on my desktop LaTeX project. Now to begin, you have to specify what kind of document you're going to want to write, and you're gonna do that using the document class command. So this is where you could write a book or a report or whatever you want, a pamphlet. Uh, since we're doing a report, we're going to do a article. Uh, use the curly brackets to contain the command. Next, you're gonna to want to begin your document, and of course, if you're gonna be beginning a document, you're going to be ending a document, and you need to specify that. So I'm just going to save this now and I'm going to stick it inside of the LaTeX project and I'm going to call it Tobias Report because this is going to be a report on Tobias. Um, so first thing that a report starts with whenever you open up a report is the title page. So I'm going to start off with the title page and I'm going to show you how you can make your own custom title page. So if you want a shortcut, you can make a title page using... Uh, using LaTeX templates, but I'm not a huge fan of that, and I'll show you why. So I have my title, I can specify an author, so let's put in the Zand Show, because that's what this is. Uh, the date that I want it written is June 26, 2014, which is when I'm writing this, and then we can make a title. Oh, shoot, so Sorry, that's the hotkey. So if you want to actually build this, the way you can go about doing that is if you go into typeset, you can click on typeset, and the shortcut is command T, which is uh, what I'm clicking on my keyboard. And of course, to save, I'm using uh, command S because I'm into hotkeys like that. On PC, I'm not sure what the equivalent is. I think it's called make. So whatever that is, that allows you to actually put this together. So how does this actually look? Well, if I command T, uh, my console will show up. This is what I can use for troubleshooting. If I have an error in the report, this will point to it. And here is what my PDF is. So this is actually a PDF file, and this is my title page. And if I go into my LaTeX project, uh, you can actually see the PDF file right here, and you can open that up or transport it, ship it off, whatever you want to do with it. So this is the title page, and I'm not a big fan of this style of title page. You see kind of like, okay, well, you know, it looks terrible. So instead of using this standard template that LaTeX provides you with, we're going to make our own custom title page that in my opinion will look a little bit better. And of course you can change it however you want. So I'm gonna delete everything we just did there. And, but I'm gonna leave the document structure here. And I'm going to tell LaTeX that I'm going to be beginning my own title page. And I want it to be uh, centered. Now of course if I want it to be centered, if we're beginning a centering, we need to end the center, and if we're beginning a title page, we need to end the title page. It has to be in the same order, so like this is nested within uh, the begin title page, and if you want, you can indent your writing, and this helps you keep track of nesting. So how about we do that? Um, so first thing at the top, I'm going to want my title. And let's say I want to make it look a little bit better. I want to include a line around the title. Uh, I spelled Tobias wrong. Uh, so if I want to have a line, the way you can go about doing that is typing in line, specifying the slope, and then the length of the line. So I'm just showing you this in case you're curious. And then let's say I want to type my title. I want my title to be big. Uh, or rather not just big, I want it to be huge, which is, this is like the size of text that you can actually have. Uh, and I want it to be of the boldface series. So it's gonna be a big boldface title and it's gonna be called Tobias the Groundhog. This is a groundhog who lives in my backyard. And now I'm going to build this and take a look at what it looks like. Now you'll, you'll see that I put uh, curly brackets around the huge and the reason I did this is if I just specify huge everything is going to be huge after this command so by putting in the brackets I contain the hugeness within the brackets so anyway save and build 
And what do we have here? We have our line. It's centered because we told it to be centered and we have the title immediately after it. Now why, why, why does it look like this? You ask yourself, I have a space here, but the reason is, is because that's LaTeX. If you have just a single space between this line and that line, it will continue writing it like there was no like paragraph break. So there are two ways to get a break in there. One is to use two lines like this. And there, voila, we have it centered below that line. Alternatively, you can put it like this, and it looks just the same. Uh, which one you use is up to you. For formatting, I like to use two lines. For writing paragraphs, I like to use a uh, like a double return command. So let's put a line underneath. I'm gonna have to put those two spaces in. And just to show you, you can actually control the length of the line. Let's make this one only 200 long. It's gonna look terrible, but that's okay. Let's see how it looks. It looks terrible, but that's okay. All right, so you kind of go, okay, well, we're, we're getting a title page started. How do we change the spacing between the title and the lines? Well, that's actually really easy. I can, for example, add in a quarter of an inch using square brackets here and let's say let's see how that looks okay so that's looking a bit better and let's increase the space here let's say we're going to increase that by two millimeters the tech understands different standard units so inches uh, millimeters centimeters whatever you want okay so there you go we have two lines and they're spaced now okay so now that that's done, let's put in like uh, most people who are going to be writing reports watching this video are probably doing it for school or maybe for work or whatever. So uh, you might want something like a company name here or the university that you're from or some extra information before you kind of go into your author block. So the way I'm going to go about doing that is first I'm going to give myself some space to work with and then I'm going to call it. Uh, the, uh, the production name so uh, I like you, you know how you can sometimes see in titles where it's all like capitals uh, you can get small capitals that's a command there are all kinds of different text formatting commands and there are all kinds of different size text you can get such as large so this is me Sancho production and let's add in another 75.75 centimeters wonder how that's gonna look and then doing that again we can say that we want it to be a different type of large and you can easily look this all up on Google simple report okay so let's see how this looks so this is why I mean where it's all capitals lowercase here but it's all capital so that looks all right to me so let's move on. So this could be like your company name or whatever. So let's move on. Um, putting down like an author block, I personally like to have it uh, over here flush to the right. Uh, I don't like having it centered. You can change this however you want, but you know what? This is my report. So I'm going to add in say 10 centimeters here. And then I'm going to have my center end. So we're ending our center. And then I'm going to want it to be right flushed and the command for that is flush right and if we're going to be flushing it right we're going to have to stop flushing it right inside of here uh, we can let's say if I keep on using the same format because I feel like it uh, we can use a different size large let's put in the author so that would be Zan B that's me and then let's say I close the brackets here just to show you what happens so I close the brackets here. I am a LaTeX user. My student number, because we are entering a symbol, we have to use uh, the, back, the forward slash backslash um, to uh, use that symbol. Here's my student number, because that looks like a legitimate student number. And then I'm going to insert the date. And the date today is June 26th. I think 2014 and then we're gonna end flush right okay so here we go you can see that this is large this is not large this is all capitals and it's because we ended it with that bracket so I'll move that bracket down here take a look okay cool so now we have a title page really simple 
in the interest of saving time, you can tinker around with this as much as you want. You can add a picture here if you wanted anything you want. Latex, LaTeX can do it all. All right, so now what do we do? Well, let's say you want to start your next page. Well, where do you start it? You're going to want to start it after your title page, and I'll show you why. So let's say if we were to enter text here. Okay, let's say we were to shorten this to nine centimeters so that we don't run out of room on the page and rebuild it. Okay, so now we have our text here showing up here. We're not gonna start our document here. We're gonna to wanna to start it outside of the title page. So moving that here, there was room for text here before, but now that we've specified it outside of the title page, it starts on a new page. And you'll also number, notice on the title page, there's no page number here, but there is on the second page. And the reason for that is because this is the first page of your document. You typically don't number your title page. And so this is officially where our report really begins, but now we have a nice looking title page. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to start your sectioning, and we're gonna progress on this uh, Tobias the Groundhog report. See you then.